Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. You guessed it, warm overnight, hot tomorrow, and beyond. Your overnight forecast is down into the mid to upper 70s with a cloud or two here or there, but mostly clear skies. Your Thursday forecast calls for lots of sun and temperatures from 93 at the coast to 103 throughout the upper valley. Futurecast takes you through the end of the week with Thursday being a hot and sunny day. Afternoon winds will be cropping up 15, maybe 20 miles an hour. Friday we go on in with south to southeast winds, but the chance for an afternoon shower wanting desperately to come back into the forecast, but I think it's still another day away before we start to see the chance for isolated afternoon showers come back starting this weekend. Futurecast notes the heat index each afternoon as 106, 108, maybe closer to 110 as humidity levels increase just a tad and it feels even hotter out there. The tropical forecast. This is where the forecast finally makes a turn toward something going on as that low in the middle of the screen there with the pulse around it that is Tropical Depression 5. That is expected to continue moving to the west, perhaps becoming a tropical storm as it nears the Dominican Republic and making its way toward Jamaica. It could be a fairly strong tropical storm by then with winds of 60 miles an hour. Right now it's more than 2,300 miles southeast of Miami. That's a long, long way off. So again, it's a, it's a pretty far out forecast, but the overall general trend is certainly to the west and then it kind of splits off. This is a breakdown of all the forecast solutions showing that how they kind of diverge there at the end. One goes, a fairly reliable one, goes off north toward Bahamas. And then you've got one that digs further south in towards Central America by the end. That's a Sunday to Monday end of the forecast period there. So after the weekend, we'll see. We'll see. Seven-day forecast does reintroduce the chance for afternoon showers for the weekend, but it's slight. And then for next week, the chance for afternoon showers bulks up a little bit. And that's always good news. But again, no serious widespread rains in the forecast. That's a look at your 